Recently, you guys have been telling us that DDR5 prices are on the up and up. And I went to check out what was going on exactly. And this PC part picker trend line will tell you everything you need to know because it relates to the actual street prices. And that's the prices that you and I pay for this stuff. And it's a worry concern because we can see here during about mid-September and up until then, DDR5 prices were pretty stable, at least in 2025. And then after sometime in sort of October, it started ramping up pretty crazy to the point where prices now for say two 16 gigabyte kits of DDR5 6,000 megahertz memory are about 220 to 230 US dollars when they used to be around 120 US dollars. This marks around a 70 to 80% increase in prices just on the street of a DDR5 kit, which of course, if you're building a new PC or you're upgrading your PC, this is ultimately just going to add to the price of what you're gonna to have to pull out of your wallet and spend. However, in today's video, I've got some hot tips and tricks for you guys on how you can still get DDR5 for a decent price, but then we'll talk about also after that, why it's going up in price, right after today's video sponsor. Do you need to get Windows activated and don't wanna spend stupid amounts of money on a key? Well, if that's you, then today's video sponsor, SCD Keys has you covered. For as little as $21 for Windows 11 Pro or $13 for Windows 10 Enterprise, you can get activated instantly. And also don't forget to use the coupon code BFTYC for a big juicy discount. Links in description below. Welcome back to Tech Yes City. And if you guys have been a PC tech enthusiast long enough, you'll know that RAM prices going up and suddenly spiking is nothing new. And we've seen this with DDR4 prices in the past, DDR3 prices, and there's always some new excuse and we'll go through those excuses later on. But what we're looking at here is how you can still get some DDR5 memory for pretty cheap. Now in my hands here, I'm holding this brand here that I'm not gonna pronounce the name on camera as I might get censored, but you guys can read it on the camera. I don't know if that was their intention to make the name as such, but what we've got is you can get this stuff off AliExpress. Currently, when I woke up this morning, it was still available for 83 US dollars for two 16 gigabyte kits. That's a 6,000 megahertz memory. Now the CL timings are pretty loose. They're CL38, so they're not the best timings, but given the fact that every other kit out there at 6,000 megahertz is over 200 US dollars right now, I would say it's a pretty good deal. Now, on top of that, if you're being smart with the AliExpress coupon sales, I'll put some coupons in the description below, but you can get the coupon sales and make it even cheaper too. So I stocked up on a few little budget kits of memory before these deals run out. And if you guys don't mind shopping on AliExpress, then you can still pick up some really good deals on DDR5 memory. Now, of course, there's the next thing we're gonna talk about here, and that's the used market. Every month for the last at least six months, I've been just constantly checking DDR5 when it comes to used deals, and today is actually no different, where later on, I'm going to be going and picking up a few kits of DDR5 memory. Now, it's some green PCB OEM stuff, not really attractive in terms of putting it in a PC and having it look good as the RGB stuff. But still, if we get a big CPU air cooler, for instance, we can just cover up that green PCB memory, no problems. And then we've got some budget DDR5 memory. Now, the stuff that I was getting, I bought one kit off this guy before and I tested it out and it worked absolutely fine. And so what I said to him is, how many more kits have you got? And he's actually got another three kits available and it's only 70 Aussie dollars for a kit. Now, I'm not gonna really uh, haggle him on these prices that much. I think last time I picked it up for 60 Aussie dollars. I have to go through my, uh, my records. Maybe I can get like three kits for 180 Aussie dollars, which is just absolutely insane. I'd then be getting one of these kits for around 40 US dollars. So getting over six times the value of the new market roughly, which is absolutely incredible if you're into used deals. So I'll put some links in the description below on the new stuff that I was talking about, as well as some search terms if you guys wanna look on say your local marketplace and try and find a used deal. Though, going forward, let's look at the reasons that we've got for why these DDR5 prices are going up. And 
Actually, uh, Dark Flash made a really good summary of all the points, and I do believe two of them are extremely relevant right now. Well, actually, all the points are pretty relevant, and we'll talk about what's going on here. So the first point is the AI demand. We've heard this with everything. We've heard this with GPUs and sending GPU prices up, but now apparently AI boom is sending the prices of DDR5 up through the roof. And the reason for this is they're making all these fancy new servers that utilize DDR5 memory. And when it comes to this, I think there is some legitimacy here. I think there is a general demand for DDR5 memory that has gone up. Obviously, they have to build more servers and whatnot. And I think the next point on this article is actually going hand in hand with the first point. And that is that a lot of the businesses that manufacture DDR5 memory, they're just starting to see, well, we can get RAM for this price and then we can quickly go and instead of making it for the consumer where there's not really a whole lot of profit margin, we can then sell it to the AI bros and all these businesses and make higher profits. And so I think that's what you're seeing. One and two, I kind of consider them the same point in together. And it's, I think, the AI demand coupled in with the fact that when these companies that are manufacturing RAM sniff higher profits, they're pretty much going to shift gears to go get that higher profit, which is definitely what we saw with NVIDIA with their RTX 5000 series graphics cards. They were like, well, uh, we're making a lot more money on the business to business, guys. I think we should scale down those gamers and we're not making so much profit off them. And of course, we didn't just see this with NVIDIA. We definitely saw it with AMD and all the other tech companies out there. As soon as they can make more profit, they're definitely gonna go down that route. 2025, has definitely proven to us all that these companies are not our friends. Even though I'd love Nvidia to cook me up some green eggs and wait, that'd be radioactive eggs. Yeah, I don't want that. Though we'll go over point four before we go over point three because point three is extremely valid and I wanna talk about this for a few minutes. But point four here is the transitioning to a better, more efficient node. And so they're kind of scaling down the old node, which is what they're making the DDR5 memory on. I don't think this is such a factor. I think with the extreme ramp up of demand for DDR5, these companies are going to be just absolutely pumping as much DDR5 RAM as out as they can. So I think point number four is kind of the moot point here in all these points that have been made. Of course, it's still a possibility, but I wanna talk about point three, which is definitely something we see in enthusiast tech. When it comes to GPUs, the crypto mining boom, as soon as prices go up a little bit, people get worried, price is gonna go up more, people get into a state of FOMO, and then they just go out and buy something that they otherwise might not need but they just got a fear of paying a higher price that could go up a lot more. And so they're just gonna buy it now, whether they absolutely need it or not. So they're kind of making this decision based out of emotions rather than based out on logic. And I feel like when we apply this to DDR5 memory right now, this is definitely a factor that's gonna come into the equation where a lot of big businesses that actually just produce the RAM on the PCBs, they don't actually manufacture the flash chips themselves, then they're gonna be saying to themselves, well, demand is ramping up. We better get ahead of the curve, especially with the Christmas season coming up and things are just gonna be going crazy, especially on consumer DDR5 memory. We better get the ramp up going here and we better have DDR5 memory available so we don't run out. And so I feel like they'd be buying otherwise more than they would if they sense that stock is going to go low and prices are gonna go even higher. And so this is why point number three in this article is just so relevant to the market right now. And so for me personally, this point applies in a way that has made me go out and buy some DDR5 memory this morning and also off the used market. But the only reason I'm doing this is an added on point that I'm gonna throw into this after this article is a thing known as arbitrage. And basically that's where if I'm looking at my local market, especially on my new retailers, for instance, there's a PC retailer called Umart, or I'm looking on even in USD pricing on Amazon US, and I'm seeing that these prices are just crazy high right now, and people are paying that and buying that, I'm then going to go, well, I can get it much cheaper. And I personally think this deal is not gonna last actually not that long at all. I'm gonna go snap up that cheap memory ASAP and then it's gonna be gone. 
And so in my experience with PC tech, this is a smart decision to make. Get the stuff, if you see it going up and it's priced high everywhere else and they're getting that fresh stock in and they're charging more for it, go buy up the older stock that maybe the manufacturer is not aware of the whole situation and you get a, a take advantage of that arbitrage and get yourself a deal and get yourself better pricing. And so for me personally, I need some DDR5 memory kits for Christmas stock and building gaming PCs for Christmas. And I'm gonna know in a month's time, I'm gonna be paying more for that if I need it. So I wise will stock up a bit more now and save some money. And I feel like a lot of you guys out there, if you're flipping PCs, you definitely wanna be getting on top of this right now rather than later so it doesn't cost you a pretty penny. Anyhow, with all that aside, guys, this article from Dark Flash, really well, concise, easy written. Hopefully this video as well has explained everything that's going on and why I feel like you should definitely, if you're looking to build a gaming PC really soon, you should get on top of getting your DDR5 memory for these cheaper prices. Don't really go out and buy those uh, plus 200 USD prizes, but if you can get something under $100 for a 32 gigabyte kit right now, I definitely consider buying it right now especially if you plan to make a gaming PC in the next few months, especially before Christmas, because what we're seeing with the Christmas ramp up this time around, I do believe it's gonna be a pretty healthy season personally for gaming PCs because GPU prices, believe it or not, are actually at much more reasonable prices. And coming into Christmas, we could see maybe in the no month of November this month, we could see some really healthy demand and healthy supply too. But then going into December, who knows what could happen? GPU prices could go up again a little bit more just due to the fact that GPU prices have been pretty decent as of late. But that said, the DDR5 prices may just be a sacrifice that a lot of people are willing to make because the GPU prices have come down and they've been elevated for so long. So I do think these DDR5 prices, they're a problem and they're gonna be a problem at least until the end of Christmas. And then after that, they may come down, who knows? But in the meantime, if you wanna save yourself some bucks, it's better to act now than later. Anyway, hope this video has helped you guys out. And with that aside, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. If you like this one, be sure to hit that like button. Also, if you've got any questions or comments, be sure to drop them down below. With that aside, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Later.